What is going on, beautiful people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer back at you with another LSPDFR GTA 5 tutorial. And this is a realism tutorial sent to me by my boy, the Mexican, our boy, the Mexican. Big shout out to you, brother. He sent me this mod that's called uh, Realistic uh, Streetlights and Stoplights, okay? Now, this uh, does say work in progress. I have not tried it. I'm going to be trying it for the first time with y'all. And it's an add-on, which means you don't need menu, you don't need simple trainer, you don't need map, uh, uh, what's the map mod or a map loader, so whatever it's called, map editor. This will load up with your game when you, every time you start your game, all right? So again, big shout out to the Mexican. He is linked down below. Go show that man some love. Um, so let's get into it, folks. Uh, go ahead and click that link down below that says uh, uh, realistic street lights and stop lights. And that's gonna bring you to this page right here. And you can see some of the things, there's a lot of new street lights. And one thing I, I find is cool is this right here, the new stop lights. We're definitely going to check that out. I can see right where this is. This looks like the road that leads up to Michael's. So we're definitely gonna go in the game and check that out, all right? So go ahead and click the blue download this file. All right, it's gonna start downloading. Should be pretty quick, usually these DLC packs. Excuse me, geez. Usually these DLC packs download, there we go. Oh, and there's an ad. So that's okay, because we're gonna exit out just like that. Sorry about that, y'all. All right, so this is going to be an open IV, okay? This is gonna be an open IV mod. Um, while this is loading up, let me grab, I'm gonna go ahead and click Windows. While it's loading up, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my handy dandy notebook so I can get my pathways, because I still cannot remember these pathways to save my life. All right, my open IV automatically starts in edit mode. Thanks to my boy, Criminal Justice. Crap! If you want yours to do the same thing, go to tools, go to options right here under default work mode. Yours might say read only, just click edit, click close. That way every time you open up your open IV, edit mode will automatically be on, okay? So here's what we wanna do. Let's go ahead and bring up that WinRAR of the realistic street light pack, okay? Now inside this street lights, there should be, it should say dlc.rpf, okay? So if we double click it, dlc.rpf okay um this right here uh okay so yep we're gonna need that so make sure you click this html and it's gonna open up with whatever web browser you use all right so we definitely need this so once we bring that up just minimize it for now all right and here's the pathway you want to take folks you want to go to your dlc packs all right you're gonna go to mods update times 64 and dlc packs now 100 percent do this step right here go to favorites go to add to favorites and you can put in dlc packs only or you can just keep it the way it is and click add i will explain why just do that right now okay once you've done that over in winra you're just simply going to left click this street lights you're going to drag it you're going to drop it in there okay just like that all right, you'll see it down at the bottom. And if I go back and I go forward, you'll see that it put it alphabetized. So we are good to go there. Now, we can exit out of the WinRAR because we do have uh, we do have this that we need down there. Okay, so we're gonna exit out of that WinRAR. Now we're gonna double click mods to go back to the beginning. And here's the new pathway to get to your DLC list.xml. You're gonna want mods, update, update.rpf, common, and data okay again same thing y'all go to favorites go to add to favorites um i name mine dlc list.xml right and then click add all right as you can see in my favorites there's my dlc list.xml so if i click it it will bring me right here save this pathway as well okay now you're going to scroll down you see xml text right here dlc list.xml you're going to right click that and click edit all right, make sure your edit mode is on or it won't let you do it, all right? So we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and right here on your last item line, yours might, if you've never put anything in here, yours is probably gonna say patch day 24 or MP heist. It'll be one of those. It'll be right at the bottom. You're just simply gonna put your text bar right at the end of that last item like that so it's flashing and hit enter just like that, okay? Once you do that, we're gonna go ahead and bring up this right here that it, you know, that it gave us in the WinRAR. 
and we need this line right here. You're going to copy this. Oh, why won't it let me do it? Okay. So it will not let me do it, which is weird because usually it lets you do it. All right. So maybe we can go to... I mean, I know how to do it if I can't just copy and paste it, but I figured let's go back to this. Maybe we can get it from right here. No, we cannot. All right, so here's what we're going to do, y'all. All right, we see their forward slashes street lights with a capital S. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to copy your last line. Copy that entire line from the greater than sign even to the less than sign. You want that entire line. Right click, copy. All right, go back to this blank line that we put right under it. Right click, paste. Now, you're going to see the exact same lines there. We don't want that. So what you're going to do is just past the slash, forward or backward, whichever one you have, you're going to click it. All right? And you're going to get rid of whatever it says in there with the slashes. Okay? So that's what it's going to look like. Item, DLC packs, semicolon, and then you're going to see item again. Right now, this is what you're going to do. You're going to do forward slash capital S. Oh, what was it called? I'm sorry. Jesus. Jesus, Jeff. I forgot what it was called. I think, what was it? Streetlights? Yes, streetlights. I'm sorry about that. My gosh. Embarrassing. All right. So, so it's going to be forward slash capital S T R E E T L I G H T S forward slash. This is exactly how you want it to look folks okay you want the two brackets here with item dlc pack semicolon forward slash street lights using a capital s forward slash brackets with the forward slash item you want it to look just like this right here if it does not look like this just click cancel go back into this and um try it again okay so we're gonna save it now Let's say, now we're done, it's installed, and we're going to go into the game, but let's say you exit out of your OpenIV, and you don't like it, or it's making your game crash, or whatever, for some reason, you want it out. You're going to load up your OpenIV, you're going to go to Windows, okay? You are going to make sure that edit mode is on, and you're going to go to your paths that I told you to save. So you're going to go to favorites, and there's DLC packs. You're simply going to go to street lights. You're going to right click and delete it. Okay. Once you right click and delete that, you are then going to go to favorites and go to your DLC list.xml that we saved. Okay. You're going to scroll down to DLC list.xml, right click, edit. You're going to scroll down till you get the street lights and you're going to highlight that whole thing. And you're simply, now this is only if you want to remove this out of your game. Don't do this now if you want to try it. All right. And you're just simply going to, delete it right now we got to get this paths back up here and one thing to remember is this h always should fall below that i okay so if we get paths right there and we pull it back pull it back right there see how the h is just below the i then click save i'm not going to click save because i want to keep the street lights in there so that's it now it is removed from your game okay so let me cancel that and let me just double check and make sure that it is still in there. Street lights, yes, it is still in there. So let's go ahead and cancel. We can exit out here. Folks, that's it. It is in our game. Let's jump in there and let's check it out. I'll see y'all in there. Alrighty, everybody, here we are in the game. And the first thing I'm noticing right off the bat are the new street lights here. Okay, we got some uh, pretty cool street lights here. Um, that I believe these are totally different, right? These are totally different here. And, you know, the streetlights throughout the whole game, throughout the whole map are totally different now. But check out this one right here. I love, love, love this one. As you can see, let's get a little closer to it. It's got the arrow there. You see the arrow now? I wonder how that looks at night. I bet you can see that a lot better at night. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe not right there because of radiance, but. All 
Oh, it's a little hard to see. I saw it good the first one. Yeah, that, there you go. You could see it. But I think with my radiance, it's a little uh, a little tricky to see. Um, but the street lights are definitely. Um, oof. The street lights are definitely different. Um, if you don't have radiance or anything in your game, you'll notice it a lot more. Um, but yeah, you can see they're a different color. I definitely noticed the difference out in Sandy Shores. I was just out in Sandy Shores, so I saw the difference out there. So go ahead and yeah, you can see all these ones that now have arrows in them. All right, super cool, super cool. I dig it. Folks, there's going to be another tutorial coming out right behind this one. We are going to be banging out some tutorials tonight. Hope you enjoy this one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, again, big shout out to the Mexican. Love you, brother. Again, he's linked down below. Go check him out. Until next time, everybody, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy, Jeffrey Gamer, is out. Later, y'all.